What is going on you cocksuckers? It's Robo here and today I want to give you guys a quick guide on how to do the chemical step. I'm not really going to be going over all of the other easter egg steps. Most of those are really known. This is really the one that's giving people the most trouble so I'll just do my best to explain this. So after you open up the garage you're going to want to make sure you collect all of the pieces for the chemistry table. Again I'm not really going to go into that. Those are There's multiple guides out there for that but anyways you want to place those parts down and now we can get into actually building chemicals and actually getting the thing you need to complete the nuke to fight the boss. So the first thing that we need to do is complete our equation. We need to figure out all of the variables for this equation that's up in the roof of the TV station so that we can figure out the correct color to turn our screens. So if we read this out we can say that I is equal to circle times M. And don't get confused just because they're symbols. It could say bamboozle, strudel, toodle, and it'd be the same thing. And so the I is the color of our screen. And we can see that this there's a little chart here on the TV, and we're going to be solving for that. So the first variable is going to be the M. You're just going to come into this room next to the pool house and look up in the top left corner. That is going to be the number of your symbol M. In my case, it was 20. And we're not really going to be doing anything with that just yet, but now we're going to get on to solving the circle symbol. Now, you've probably seen these around the map. There's several. There's actually four of them. And they basically say circle equals number. And when you change the color of your screen, some of them will say circle does not equal number. Out of the four circle symbols, there is one that will not change and say does not equal under any circumstance. So what you need to do is change the color and go find the symbol that no matter what color that you change it to always says circle equals number. In my case it was the one on the refrigerator. Circle equals two. And in your game these are definitely going to be different but in my case my equation is I equals circle times M which is if you plug in all the variables it's i equals 2 times 20 and at this point it's just simple multiplication 2 times 20 is equal to 40 and now we're gonna look at the screen and see which one of these corresponds to our number in my case it's the first one my number is greater than 37 so that means that I need to change the color of my game to blue and I'm gonna keep that in mind and leave it on blue for a while now we need to figure out which chemical diamonds we're going to be using. If you've seen those boards around the map with all these chemical names on them, this is what this is for. So you're going to change the color to, it can be any one of them, blue, green, red, it doesn't matter, but change the color and you want to come to the garage to find out which two diamonds are lit up. Per color, one diamond will be lit up. In the case of my game, the blue color lit up the left diamond. And when I changed to red, I came back and now the top diamond was lit up. So now we have left diamond and top diamond. We're going to keep that in mind because those are the two numbers that we'll be using the chemistry boards to add together to get our numbers for building chemicals, right? So now we need to find out the compound that we want to build to arm the nuke, right? So in order to do that, we're going to first need to get a battery drop from a zombie. Now if you've made it this far, you know, you've obviously had to talk to Elvira, so you should be able to kill a zombie that has a backpack and sooner or later one of those backpacks will drop a battery. This battery is going to be used to repair a radio over near the power station. And you've probably seen these radios around the map. They contain information regarding chem chemical compounds. And this one specifically will contain the information that tells us which compound we need to build to arm the nuke. So you're going to place that battery in this radio and the professor will read off some words to you. He's going to read through several different chemical compounds. and depending on which one he says he'll either say something good or bad about it if he says something good about it and basically clarifies that this is the one that you need to build then you'll want to make note of that I'm going to show you some screenshots with the ingredients here in a moment but just remember the compound that you need to build and cross-reference it with these images I'm going to show you 
Now, of course, for all but one of them, he's going to say that they probably won't work. And I'm going to give you an example of what that sounds like when you get one that's not going to work. So in my game, the one he said would work is 3,4-dinotroxymethylpropane. And the ingredients of that are adalahide sludge and nail polish remover, okay? So I'm going to check my other images and ingredients list to see what I need to build the first one, adalahide sludge. Now looking at this list, you can see the adalahide sludge needs formaldehyde, amaldehyde, and detergent. And I'm just going to start at the top one, formaldehyde. Okay, to build formaldehyde, you can see that I need racing fuel and quarters. Okay, so now we're moving on to the common ingredients. So racing fuel, you can see, is found in front of the gas station. And then quarters is found by getting the crowbar and meleeing the payphones on the side of the gas station. So I'm going to get each of those ingredients and take them to the mixing station. And I'll just show you some gameplay of me doing that right now. I'm picking up the quarters by mailing the payphone with a crowbar. I'm going to go in here and place it on the mixing station. I'm not entering anything yet. I'm just putting it down so that the ingredients are there. Then I'm going to head over and grab the diesel fuel. And I'll go place that down too. Now these are the ingredients to form the formaldehyde mixture. And so this is where it's been getting a little bit confusing. So I'm sure you've seen those boards around the map that have these chemicals on them. Well, when you are in the color that we learned of from earlier using the I formula, I equals circle times M, right? Well, go ahead and turn the game into your specific color. You'll notice that these chemicals have diamonds next to them. Well, each time you change colors, these numbers within the diamonds also change, which is why you have to be in your correct color so that you see the correct numbers. While in your correct color, I'm going to recommend you go to each one of these and actually screenshot them because you're going to need to remember the numbers per ingredient that you're going to be using to get to your objective mixture, right? The one we learned about from the radio. So back to our current ingredients on the table. So to actually successfully mix those ingredients, we need to first add the specific diamond numbers that we learned about from looking at the equation on the garage wall, right? When we went into different colors and looked for if left diamond was lit up or top diamond was lit up with each color. So we'll start with quarters here. And since my diamonds were the top diamond and the left diamond, I'm going to add those two numbers together. So if you look at quarters, you'll see that it's six and three. I'm going to add those and I'm going to get nine. And remember, you'll only see these numbers if you're in your correct color at the time you're looking at it. So now we'll move to racing fuel because remember, these are the ingredients that we have on the bench right now. Racing fuel is eight and three. If you add those together, that's 11. So 9 plus 11 is equal to 20, and then we subtract our circle symbol that we used to solve for i earlier. So our circle symbol in this game is 2, so 20 minus 2 is equal to 18. So what I'm going to do now that I have that number 18 with both of those items on the bench, I'm going to enter that into the monitor up above the bench, okay? So I'm going to enter 18 in because that's the number I've got. And then after I enter that number in, I can hit the big dial and hit confirm. And it's going to make that ingredient successfully. Now that one process just made us formaldehyde. Remember for al um, aldehyde sludge, we need to make another two ingredients too. So to make acetaldehyde, we're going to need to use vodka and pennies. So where do we get vodkas and pennies? Well, let's look at our little images here and see where we can get those. So it looks like we can get vodka on a shelf next to the Fate and Fortune cards and we can get pennies from using the crowbar to melee a cash register. So we'll get those and we'll take those to the mixing station just like we did with the first set of ingredients. And using those screenshots we took because we don't wanna be running around the map each time, we're going to look at vodka. Vodka is 7 and 9. 
we're going to add those two numbers together because remember we're using the top diamond and the left diamond because that's what we got off of the wall from the colors. So vodka is going to be 16 and then we're going to keep that number in mind and then we're going to look at the next chart for our next ingredient which is pennies. In this case pennies is going to be and we can see that pennies is 7 and 7. So we'll take 14, add 16 to it and then that gives us 30 and then we subtract our circle symbol which in my game is 2 so I'm going to subtract 2 to get 28 and that's the number I enter on the keyboard when I'm going to mix my and I'll just show you what that looks like what happens when you enter it correctly if you enter it incorrectly you're going to take some damage so just be careful but the beakers will go over there to the right and now we've made another ingredient. What, do, what else do we need to make out of the hide sludge? Some detergent. Okay, well we know that detergent is an actual ingredient that you just find on the map. So we'll take those two beakers that we've made and then we'll go pick up detergent and then we'll add that to the chemistry table. And using the numbers that we find on the charts in our colors, we're going to add those numbers together again just like with the previous two ingredients that we made. And with that, we've actually made adalahyde sludge. So let's look back at our Easter egg ingredient that we need, and we still need nail polish. So we're going to look at our chart and figure out where our nail polish is. And okay, looks like it's at the pool house. We're going to grab it, put it down, grab our sludge, put that down, and then we're going to repeat the process again. Look at the charts, add up the top diamond, left diamond. That's specifically for me. Not, it may not be the same for you. Then I'm going to enter that number into the computer, and there I've got my final ingredient that I need for the nuke. And I'll just leave the rest of the video um, just a mix of those images. Uh, we'll have these down into the description as well as a link to the actual Google document. Big shout out to the community for helping complete this. This was a public document. I'm surprised it actually got this far. But anyways guys, I hope this was helpful. I tried to make it as in-depth as I could without going over information that was already common knowledge. But anyways, see you guys on the next video. Peace out.